went hard in the streets. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We don't got to get into um, specifics. Specific, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It might be some <laughs> statute of limitations that ain't. <laughs> Bruce Every time I'm with you, yo, it's something else. It's a fact, it's a fact, and it's nothing else. Got your hand out, you don't even need the help. Ooh, I don't need nothing else. Every time I'm with you, yo, it's something else. It's a fact, it's a fact, and it's nothing else. Got your hand out, you don't even need the help. Ooh, that's right. I don't need nothing else. That's right. King's Dream Entertainment. You meet a lot of people in this Christian hip hop thing, man, and uh, seldom do you feel like a, a genuine connection you know what i'm saying and that's no cap like me and you met and we just the more we talked i was like man we got i feel like we're kindred spirits in a way you know what i mean and so um without further ado ladies and gentlemen we got hurt what's that at? what's up with it man chilling bro uh thank you for being here you drove all the way down to the studio in the morning mm -hmm. uh you've been patient with me as i've been troubleshooting some of the new gear uh -huh. we're working with so i appreciate you doing that um most people are familiar with you through some of your affiliations with um, God Over Money, mm -hmm. uh, Hog Mob. Um, you were on a record, uh, Seven's record that did really well. The numbers somebody lied to crazy. us. Yeah, somebody lied to us. Um, uh, you and Bizzle have collaborated, correct? King. King. Um, so that I, I would say most people in the CHH community kind of know you from those circles. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I've been able to kind of uh, get to know you in your local community mm -hmm. and just seeing your heart for your local community, your heart for the church, uh, someone that's in the local church, in a local church ministering. Uh, I think there's just a lot you, you're you doing, man, that's super inspiring to me. So before we get into all that, just uh, give us a recap where you're from, um, how you grew up, and 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 well, let's just start at the beginning. Uh, from Riverside, California, uh, I got the typical street gangbanger testimony grew mm -hmm. up in the church mm -hmm. went wayward you mm -hmm. know what i mean came back when i was older um god really did a work in me uh i just i can say that he took me from me being me to it's not i who live but christ who live in me mm -hmm. and so i went from a rapper gang member to a rapper church boy and mm -hmm. entrepreneur um, and my, my story really never ends mm -hmm. because I'm always growing, always becoming something greater. But mm -hmm. the streets is the smallest part of me, man. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love when you said that where you like, yo, I remember we did that Instagram live and you were like, man, my background in the streets is the smallest part of yeah. who I actually am. Um, you've been doing music for a couple years now. Uh, tell us about the, the collective that y'all are from. <clears throat> The what? The collective, the uh, Royal Priesthood. Oh man, RPH is based off of First Peter two nine, man, and uh, the whole thing is a revelation of the kingship and the priesthood. The kingship being a natural authority, mm -hmm. the influence, the power, the natural blessing, the ability to accumulate influence and wealth on earth. The priesthood is the spiritual aspect, the dominion mm -hmm. that God has given us, power over unclean spirits. Mm -hmm the uh, ability to be an apostle and a high priest hmm. and to dwell in the Holy of Holies to represent God the man and man the God and to have this real power over the devil hmm. to, uh, you know, the Bible says that every high priest was called from men, mm -hmm. for men, from among men to uh, give gifts and sacrifices for men's sins and to have compassion on those who are out of the way and those who are ignorant, knowing that he's compassed with this in, in, infirmity himself. Hmm. And so this, this whole priesthood thing is about the revelation and the ability to uh to really be the image of god and to have the same mind as christ mm -hmm. and the kingship is to really understand that the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous mm -hmm. and to combine these two worlds to change people's lives so royal mm -hmm. is the kingship priest is the spiritual part and hood is changing people's natural lives so mm -hmm. we we take the, the natural side and mm -hmm. the spiritual side to change your life mm -hmm. all around i love that bro and i think um I, I want to like really unpack that because you know I'm into you know you talking about the natural, <clears throat> yeah, the yeah. implications of the spiritual onto the natural, yeah, yeah. the priest, the king. Like I think there's so much there. Um, do you think that brothers that come from a street element, when when they get saved, radically saved, that there becomes uh, a, a more uh, fervent desire? to be radical for Jesus. You know what I'm saying? That that you 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 went hard in the streets. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We don't got to get into um 
specific you know what I'm saying yeah. it might be some statute of limitations that ain't <laughs> uh, but uh, you know what I'm saying you went, you went hard in the streets anybody that's local would know who you mm -hmm. were you know hurt uh, out of the, the IE um, but when there's that intensity and there's that um, there's that, that that drive that that loyalty to the cause even yeah. though it may be the wrong cause yeah, yeah, that yeah. when that gets redirected <clears throat> towards Jesus do you think that then um, pushes the uh the ex-gang member to be i don't know more on fire more Ze passionate zealous, zealous. Yeah. yeah you know what i mean um i think one who you are is who you're gonna be hmm. no matter where you are okay um and we can use a biblical reference as paul mm -hmm. paul starts talking about uh he was more zealous mm -hmm. uh yeah, yeah. he was a hebrew he was an israelite yeah, yeah tribe of Benjamin, right. circumcised on the eighth day. He right. was like, look, man, I persecuted Christians. I went hard. Yep. I was who I was. Yep. God can only use who he created you to be. Yeah, that's good. And then what the devil does is convinces you to use it for him. That's good. And so I think it's so much faith in the streets because we use faith as like it's like this holy word. Mm. But faith is literally a belief system yeah. that good. you live by. Yep. And so like the streets, you had faith in whatever you believed in the streets. Mm. The thing that's crazy but dope about it is mm. dudes in the streets are living willing to die for what they believe in. yeah and so when you transition that into to the Jesus, kingdom yeah, yeah it's like look man i'm really willing to die for this yeah. i've put it all on the line for a lie before yeah for yeah. a very long time yeah. you know you willing to kill die or go to jail when you walk out the door yeah and i believe that when you transition that into the kingdom it's why it's so radical yep. um but it's no different to where if it was a great athlete who knew just focus and intensity mm -hmm. they would bring that over too amen you know what yep. i mean it's yep. just whoever you are in the world yeah it's who you're going to be in the kingdom that's good it's just it's been deceived and thwarted to be used for the wrong purposes that's good, that's good. what what i like is that um is that what i think what's unique about you is that those of us that have came from poverty have kind of kept that poverty mentality and took that poverty mentality into the kingdom yeah, yeah, yeah. and so then we think very lowly of ourselves we think we're supposed to be poor for jesus we think we're supposed <laughs> to struggle financially forever and uh you're you're not about that you know what i'm saying you're definitely about you have multiple businesses mm -hmm. Uh, you have multiple endeavors. I mean, you told me some of the stuff you're doing and we don't got to go into the specifics, but you got your hands in a lot of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. um, how is, why, like, why are you different than the typical, like, I, I don't mean to sound like, 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 a, like, like a caricature, but like the street typical dude. street dude that gets <laughs> saved. Like, how is it that you're so entrepreneurial, so about, um, you know, getting after it financially, crushing it in those areas? Like, like, what, how, like how'd that happen? Well, one, in the streets, I was trying to get after it financially. Like, okay. I was doing edutainment before it became popular. Mm. I had a company called Teacher Streets when I, while I was in the streets mm. where I took the high school curriculum and wrapped it. Okay. Like, I did career day out of high school and all kind of things. Um, so, again, what's in you, it's always going to be there. Yeah, that's good. Um, I can't take credit for who I am and what I'm doing. Mm. God created me with a purpose, for a purpose, on purpose, yeah. and all that yeah. cliche stuff. Yeah. Um, so I'm just living out what he deposited in me. Yeah. I think the difference is, I think a lot of people have this inside of them, yeah. but they don't have the will, mm. the drive, or the revelation. Okay. I realized the revelation of how this thwarted doctrine in the church is teaching us that poverty is holiness, and that... They use the scripture, it's harder for a rich man yeah. to get into heaven and all that. Yeah. Out of context. Completely out of context. Yeah. yeah, and they say money is the root of all evil when it's not. It's mm -hmm. the love of money, but mm -hmm. the Bible says that money solves all problems. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, it's Proverbs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, yeah. Same same writer. Though. Yeah. Um, you know, Jesus had the disciples, they had a money bag. Judas mm -hmm. carried the money bag. Mm -hmm. Jesus himself knew the importance of money, mm -hmm. knew the importance of paying taxes, mm -hmm. give to Caesar what's his. Mm -hmm. Um, I just believe that the difference with me is that God opened my eyes mm. to the fact that it's supposed to be done over here too. That's good. We understand that hustling is cool in the world. Yep. Like I look at Nipsey Hussle when, when he died, I saw the church talk about his uh, philanthropic endeavors and what he was able to do with money mm -hmm. and they praised him for that. Mm. But then 
they down people in the kingdom who are trying to get money to do the same thing. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, so, I, so tell me, like, why is money important? Money is important because it really solves all problems. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the Bible say faith without works is dead. You see a man hungry and you just say faith be good with you mm -hmm. and you walk away. You ain't did nothing for him. Mm -hmm. You ain't fed him. Right. Sometimes you got to meet a person's natural needs. Physical needs, yeah. yeah. Yeah, before you can even attend to their spiritual needs. Yeah, that's like, good. If I'm too hungry to hear about Jesus, give me a sandwich. Right. <laughs> Feed me. Be physical. Yeah. 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 And, you know, everybody, there's nobody on earth who don't have physical needs that money solves. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, the pastor has a home. Mm -hmm. Every, every Most believers either have a job or a business because we have natural needs. Mm -hmm. The thing is, a lot of people believe that Satan's winning, so they don't come to Jesus mm. because that whole thwarted doctrine of poverty is holiness. And so, you know, I know I can get money and at least be physically happy mm -hmm. over here. Mm. And so, you know, it's, it's time for us to just take back the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. He owns all this. Yeah. I've been up for a minute, now I'm down for it. I've been good with the team, never bad for it. I'ma work for the win, another slide for it. And I live for the king, I got a crown for it. I know the way, ayy. Know the way, he really is the way. He the way, ayy. You can follow me, ayy. I know the way, ayy.